In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to mount Ox RC three-piece beadlock wheels. For this demonstration, we are using the Ox RC Black Edition wheels and Proline Super Swamper 1.9 tires. All you need for this process is your standard two millimeter hex wrench and a hard surface because you are going to be applying downward pressure on the wheels. Place your wheels face down and remove the eight screws on the back of the wheel. Once these screws are removed, your wheel will separate into three pieces. Now, take your tire of choice and make sure that the beads are clean of all residue. If they do have an oily residue, you can remove it using rubbing alcohol or other mild solvent. Take the center beadlock ring that you removed earlier and insert it into the tire. Be sure that the foam insert is not getting pinched between the tire and the center ring. Next, take the outer part of the wheel and slide it into the side of the tire. Make sure that the bead is even around the entire outside of the wheel. Now place your wheel face down on a solid surface. Next, insert the rear ring, making sure to line up the screw holes. Now take two of the screws that you removed earlier and place them in opposing sides of the wheel. Don't screw them in just yet. These two screws are to start the bead locking process. Apply firm, even pressure down on your wheel and begin screwing the screws. Only screw a few threads in at this point. This is just to hold the rings together so it is easier to work with. Now insert the rest of your screws and start to thread them. Now that all of your screws are started, we are going to evenly tighten down the screws in a clockwise pattern, little by little. The key here is just a little bit at a time. We want the bead to see evenly all the way around the tire. Once you have worked your way around the wheel a few times, you are now ready for the final tightening. Tighten the screws until snug and be sure that the two halves of the wheel are firmly pressed against each other. This means that your tires are fully seated and the wheels have no air gaps. And there you have it. In just a few minutes, your wheels are mounted and you are ready to hit the trail.